I don't know about you guys, but I have this thing with alarm clocks. And I don't know what it is. I mean, it's like I go to the thrift stores, the antique malls, and I look at these things and they're on the shelf. I mean, there's these old alarm clocks. And I'm thinking, wow, this one's really cool. It does this or that one's really cool because it does that. And, you know, I default back to the ones that wake me up with the radio. And as time goes on, I try to get a little bit more sophisticated with the types of uh, alarm clocks that I have. Um, all of these here that you see in front of you are thrift store finds with the exception of this white one here. And actually this one was, this particular model was a thrift store find, but this particular one I bought new. And I'll tell you about that here in a second. But as we look here on this collection of alarm clocks, um, on the left you see this one here. I thought this was the most unusual of alarm clocks that I've ever seen before. So what makes this one so great? Well, the coolest thing about it is, and I'm guessing that this thing was made in the 1980s, it's made by a company called Randix, R-A-N-D-I-X. It is a telephone clock radio cassette player. So this thing does it all. It's model C-P700. So back before we had cell phones in our pockets and we took them with us everywhere we went, uh, it was popular to have your own telephone in your room as a teenager or, uh, you know, even as an adult, perhaps you had a, a phone in your room. So this one is really trendy. It's kind of uh, reminiscent of the later flip phones that came along. So here it is, a, uh, a very early model flip phone from Randix. And when you want to hang up the phone, you just simply place it here on the base. You dial your number here, and on the top is a cassette player that uh, is insertable via the slot. So you put the cassette in on the top. Now, it also had a speakerphone feature, and when you're using the speakerphone, you could use this microphone that's attached to the back. So you could just walk around the house with it, or well, not around the house, but you could walk around your room with it. I mean, the cord kind of stretches for quite a bit. So you could use this microphone and uh, talk to your buddies on here. And then it's got this little, uh, little kind of a pad on it here so that when you hang it up, or put it on the hook there, uh, it stays put. You've got some controls here on the side for volume and tuning, AM, FM radio. Controls here for the cassette deck, play, fast forward, stop, eject. Now, uh, we'll look at the back here. The back is kind of interesting. So down here on the left, we have uh, hands-free loudness, ringer off on, a place to plug in the microphone. We've got uh, the handset cord that plugs in there. You can wake to buzz or music. And you can do auto off or on, tone, high, low, dimmer, high and low. All right. So um, this is obviously a digital clock and it uses, um, I believe what that's, what is that? In, um, incandescent? No, it's not incandescent. Fluorescent. That's a fluorescent display. So when you wanted to play some music, you could turn on the radio and uh, don't you hate it when your clock is blinking? You know, like when the electricity goes out, your clock blinks 12 o'clock. So annoying. So like in this case, to set the time, I have to push this button on the top, time, and then I just hit the fast button, and then I can accelerate and set the time. If I want to listen to the radio, which is weird, having to switch back here on the back, turn it on. So there's my radio on now. Okay. So I can uh, switch it on that way on the back. When the alarm is set, I get an LED light here on the front that says alarm. I had to take this thing completely apart and replace the belt in it to get the cassette player to work on this because I really wanted you guys to see the cassette player working because I know a lot of you guys like cassette players. And I have another cassette player one here I'm going to show you here in a minute. So here's, the, uh, here's what the cassette player sounds like. In fact, here, let me rewind this tape. I'll use the Sony over here to rewind it just in case. So what is it like to have uh, a, an alarm clock where you wake up 
to a cassette tape playing. How about that? How's that retro? Uh, it's pretty cool. Unless, you know, it's the same song over and over again. I suppose that could be boring, but... All right, so let's see if we can play a cassette in this, see what it sounds like. Back in the day. Oh, there's the brightness. There we go. Makes a nice humming sound here. Listen to that sound quality. Whoops, and then it switches directly to the radio as soon as you turn it off. So, um, yeah, so there is the, uh, the C-P700 from Brandex. And why does it have a Pepsi logo? It's like a little emblem that's glued to the front here. Why does it have that? Was this owned by a, an employee of Pepsi or something? Why would they have that? I don't know. All right, moving on to the next one. This one here is a Philips. This is a more modern uh, clock radio here. And what I liked about this clock radio, which is model number, oh, where is it? Is it on there? Yeah, model number AJ311, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So this one is kind of cool because when the alarm goes off, what it does is it ramps up the volume from a very minimal volume all the way up to listening level. So you can set it so uh, it doesn't just blast you out of the room as soon as it goes off. It starts at a low volume and it goes up, which is kind of cool. I like that about this one. And I did use this uh, alarm clock for a while. As you notice, it's got a $4 tag from Goodwill on the bottom. Uh, but again, this is from, uh, from Philips. Oh, I can see it a little bit better here. AJ3116, uh, et cetera. Okay. Next one that we have is this Sony one. And I bought this Dream Machine. Now you'll see a ton of Sony Dream Machine clock radios at Goodwill and your local thrift store or your charity shop. Um, this particular one I liked. It has a nice clean looking display on the front. Um, it has a decent sound quality. I'll show you what the cassette player sounds like. And of course, it has a cassette deck in it. I mean, wow. So let's play something here. I mean, that thing actually sounds hi-fi, high fidelity. Um, on the top, you have some really cool controls. Uh, you have a surround button here, which basically makes your stereo separation go wah, wide. Uh, there's a loudness button here you can turn on and off, your band, AM, FM. The dial for the radio is here. And then you've got uh, two alarms. You've got an alarm A and alarm B, which you can set right here. Big old snooze bar on the front, and yes, there's dust coming off of it as well. Haven't used this one in a while. It's been sitting in my basement, but it decided to come up and uh, be a part of the show today. Now, the last one I have here, this one is obviously the most techie, and it is made by a company called Next Play. And Next Play made this um, clock radio with a voice recognition system. Very unusual feature for an alarm clock, but it's very cool because you can set the alarm with your voice. Now, the reason I went ahead and bought one of these new, I found it off of eBay, is because I like the clock so much. And the one that I found at Goodwill, the display was really, really dim on the back. So I wanted to get a new one and try it out. But I did try out the feature of the voice, and it worked pretty good. So let me show you how this works. So I'm going to tell it uh, to set the clock, all right? Set time. Tell me the current time. 8.35 p.m. The time is 8.45 p.m. 
All right, even though I said 8.35, she put it as 8.45. But look at that, I just set the clock with my voice. All right, now I'm going to set the alarm. Command, please. Set alarm. Tell me how you want the alarm to sound. FM radio. Tell me the time you want the alarm to sound. 6 o'clock a.m. Alarm is set to 6 o'clock a.m. So there you go. You have an alarm clock that will talk to you. And I don't know about you, but like on the weekends, I like to set my alarm a little later so I can sleep in a bit. So it's cool to just be able to walk by the clock and set the alarm just like you saw there. Um, <clears throat> and of course, you can say AM, FM radio, or you can just say, uh, I think you can say buzzer or something like that. Yeah, I think you can kind of see it right there, buzzer. So you can wake up to the annoying buzz if you're one of those people that sleep like uh, you're in a coma. But uh, I like the radio. The sound quality on it's not bad. So let's turn it on here. It is a digital radio. So you can tune it. Let's see, I can tune it this way. We'll go to NPR here. I think it's 90. Using virginity is giving yourself away. I think Rachel is the quintessential theater kid. She describes herself as liberal and bisexual. Oh, good grief. There's what you get with NPR. All right, so um, snooze button right here on the top and uh, speaker on the back. It does have an input for your uh, MP3 player as an auxiliary in right there and a dimmer switch on the back so that you can set the uh, optimal brightness. But uh, I did notice that this particular uh, unit will uh, it'll light up the whole room. It's very, very bright. Uh, if you happen to be in the neighborhood and you want to stop by and you know know what time it is, you can hit the button here. Command, please. Time. The time is 8.47 p.m. Now, if you just want to know what the alarm is set for, you just say alarm. Command, please. Alarm. Alarm. Alarm is set to 6 o'clock a.m. And you can also say help if you want to know what are the commands that you can speak to this thing. Now, it's obviously good for, uh, I would say, somebody who's blind could use this clock radio. Because uh, basically, all you need, you, do, you don't really even need to see the display. You just need to be able to hit this button here on the top, which says voice. Uh, other buttons you have here is mode, memory, on and off which turns the radio on and off, or the amplifier. Uh, let's see, we've got the uh, hour and tuning, minutes and volume, and you can set the alarm and you can set the time manually. You don't have to talk to the thing. Uh, for instance, my wife has a hard time getting electronic devices to understand her. So uh, like Alexa, what time is it? The time is 7.35. So that was Alexa, my, uh, my Amazon Echo there in the background. She's going to get mad at me here. Nope, she ignored me. Okay, good. So over time, you've seen kind of a evolution or revolution of clock radios. Uh, again, here you have like 80s. This would be your 80s and then 90s. And then probably also in the 90s, you would find uh, CD player clock radios, which I don't have an example of here. I actually do have one of those in the basement, but um, I'm not using it currently. But uh, in any case, uh, this was my quick uh, overview of clock radios from, from days gone by. And again, um, it depends on what kind of features you're looking for. Uh, if you just want a retro look, you can go with something like the Randix. If you want really good sound quality, you can go with the Sony. And if you want to be able to talk to your alarm clock, then you can go with the next play here in the middle. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little quick demo. And, uh, well, set the alarm. Please subscribe, share this with a friend, and leave a comment below. Talk to you later.